hi guys welcome to this channel or welcome back to this channel um i am going to be doing a kind of a second trimester update kind of to like where i am now because i last updated when i was 18 weeks and that was a very long time ago it's just been hard to like balance school and work and everything that's going on and I just didn't really have time nor did I have like the motivation to do any videos nor did I know if anybody wanted to see any videos of how I was doing so I am just going to do like a whole entire second trimester starting from 18 weeks and I am 31 weeks now last I updated I'm pretty sure I was still sick I hadn't felt her move. I still didn't really have a bump. And I also was not engaged then either. And we were thinking that we weren't going to be getting engaged. So a lot of things have changed in the past 13 weeks or so. So I'll just kind of start off with my weight. Um, I don't know if I updated in the last video, but I started off at the doctor's office when I went in, when I was seven weeks pregnant, I started off at 124 pounds and over probably eight or so weeks i dropped down to 119 and i did not regain that weight for a really long time and then i think around probably 18 weeks i was back up to like 124 where i started and then i'm gonna say i slowly started gaining weight maybe like one or one pound every four weeks and then I went in at 24 weeks and I had actually lost a pound so I got up to like 128 and then I went in at 24 weeks and I was 127 and then I went in for my 28 week appointment and I was up at 137 so in between 24 weeks and 28 weeks I gained 10 pounds and so after that happened I was like oh my god like um Katie need to slow down um I don't know how this all happened but if I go back and look at my pictures um between 24 and 28 weeks is when I actually started showing and when I actually started having a bump and I grew so much during that time so it completely makes sense I my doctor says I'm supposed to gain about 30 pounds and I have gained 13 so far and I have nine weeks left. So I would say I'm doing okay when it comes to weight. I don't feel like I've gained too much. I don't, I do feel like I've gained like enough. That's pretty much it for the weight. So I did have to go to the ER um, one time mid 20 weeks, like 24, 25 weeks. I... I don't know what happened but I, this was when I really started just growing and I went to bed one night and I had excruciating pain on the mainly on the left side of my stomach but it was all around like the bottom of my stomach and my muscles were like contracting well they weren't like I wasn't having contractions like we figured that out later but they were like tightening up and it was hurting so bad and I, w I couldn't walk I if I walked it looked like a hunchback like I was like bending over walking and the next day I woke up same thing only worse plus it was horrible because I had a terrible cold I didn't even have a voice it was awful and I was in so much pain and so uh, I went into my clinic where my doctor is and the nurse when she saw me she was like oh my gosh you look like you're in so much pain I was like I'm in so much pain I can't even walk and uh, she's like um what are you feeling so i kind of told her what i'm feeling what i was feeling and she told me to actually go over to the hospital and go into the birthing center and see what was going on if i was having going into preterm labor or if it was something else if i i don't know what was going on so we went over there they did a couple tests they hooked me up to a monitor and at that time i was still really small so um she was like, I don't know if we're going to be able to find the baby's heartbeat, so don't freak out because with the thing that they use 
like when you actually go into labor that's what they were using on me but i was only 24 weeks and she was like this only starts picking up at 24 weeks so don't freak out and so when she put it on there like she literally put it on there and straight away like you could hear the heartbeat it was super strong like there was absolutely nothing wrong with her i wasn't having contractions and what it kind of boiled down to was just severe round ligament pain and i honestly think that i tore my ligament like there was no way that it just was stretching i was in pain couldn't walk for about like almost a week just i had to wear kt tape around my stomach it was horrendous i would every time i would turn in bed it would just sharp pain but thankfully that went away in like a week or week and a half i was totally back to normal but it also happened again a couple weeks ago and it's it's just me like i don't know what happens but she will grow in like a week and then not grow for like three weeks and then grow for a week and so it hurts so bad whenever i go through a um growth spurt because if i feel like it happens all at once and it's not a gradual growing like yay i'm growing over four weeks like no i grow like over a week and then i'm still have the same belly for like three weeks so i actually got like a support band and it only lasted a couple days that support band was it was the best thing that ever happened to me i loved it and i actually went to the doctor when i was 28 weeks and i still had um the band and i asked the doctor i was like well like when i'm standing up it's fine but when i lay down it doesn't help me at all and she was like well i can help you out with that in about 10 weeks and i was like oh my gosh she was me like after i have the baby like it'll all be better and that's in 10 weeks and i was like great like that's awesome <laughs> that helps me a lot so i mean we kind of laughed about that but so cravings um personally i haven't had very many cravings like i don't know maybe one or two but the biggest thing that i have wanted this entire pregnancy is red robin every time we go out to eat we go to red robin because i cannot help it i love red robin i need it i want it <laughs> that's the one thing that i've been craving that i need all the time no matter what time of day it could be like two o'clock in the morning i'm like oh my gosh like i just need red robin right now and i mean there's nothing you can do about it then but that's the one thing that i've been craving like crazy everything else i haven't really i mean i really wanted fruit at the beginning but i think that's just because i was sick and like nothing else sounded good except for like fruit sounds good when you're sick just because it's really light and it's like watery so yeah i don't think that i've actually craved anything else I just really, 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 I mean, it sounds, it even sounds good right now. Like, I could go right now and I would be so happy. <laughs> as far as sickness goes, I'm pretty sure I was sick up until I was 19 weeks. Like, 19 weeks was the last time that I threw up. I was kind of weaning down from, like, 15 weeks to 19 weeks. I wasn't throwing up, like, every day. I would still throw up occasionally. Now absolutely nothing like i don't feel nauseous i which praise god that was horrible to wake up every day and feel like you had to throw up everywhere and you did and you would throw up every single day and it was awful so i'm so glad that that is over so the room is almost done i'll probably do a video on like everything that i have in the room and like how we set it up i am so in love with how it turned out it looks so good and my baby shower is coming up two weeks two weeks i'm sure two or three weeks so i'll probably do a video after that just so that like everything that i get i can put away or i can just show everything that i got at my baby shower maybe i'll do that i don't know i'm so excited for the baby shower it is coming up super fast and honestly this pregnancy has gone by so incredibly fast that now that i only have like eight weeks and some days left just is so crazy the journey that i've been on from start to now is just i've grown so much i've learned so much i would never go back i would never reduce if i redid this i would do it all the same because i love where i'm at i love where i'm at with ben i love where i'm at with my family and everything and it's just 
we are just really really blessed to have everything that we have and all the support that we have it's just it's a really big blessing a lot of girls when they get pregnant they don't have that they don't have support and i'm just so fortunate to be able to have a house to live in and people that surround us and love us and support us and not only just like family but friends to everybody it's just been so incredibly sweet and supportive for us and excited for us and it's just it's just fun and i'm really excited to be able to meet her and we will definitely be recording like when i go into labor and then everything that happens after that and then we're probably going to be vlogging a lot after she's here because are you kidding me like i'm gonna want to look back on when she's when she was a little newborn and growing up and learning all this stuff and so i am really excited to be able to share that with you guys and all of our family and extended family that aren't here and we're gonna be going i know we're going to bolivia next year in january when she's like nine months and then i know that we're going to alabama in the summertime probably in july so if you want to get together with us or see her like you have to let me know because we're we'll be there i think we'll be there for about two weeks and we're gonna bring her so i'm super super excited but so i'm gonna do a belly shot of what my stomach looks right now here's my little belly I actually have one now and you can actually see it unlike last time oh yeah also like another thought that just came to my mind she moves around like crazy like all the time constantly at night all the time you can see her kick you can see her move you can see her roll and she's so active and I mean it's sometimes it hurts because she can be up in my ribs or down in like my pelvis area like kicking and like pushing and all the stuff in it sometimes it's really uncomfortable but at other times it's just nice to feel like oh like she's actually in there and she's actually moving i don't think i felt hurt until i was like 22 weeks or 23 weeks but now she's non-stop moving kicking everything so i will probably start doing more videos since i'm getting towards the end and i know that i'm gonna want to look back on this and it's just exciting and so if you guys want to see more videos of like updates and stuff like that like please let me know like what you want to see and what you want to know because i know there are a lot of people out there that are super super curious about like how i'm doing or what happened here what happened here how did your parents react to like all the stuff and i would love to share that with you guys but i just need to know like what you want to see what you want to know and i will gladly let you guys know how that happened but for now just be looking out for more videos i'll probably just be doing random stuff like the nursery and the baby shower and stuff like that but yeah so just be looking out for those and i will see you guys next time